number one Iron Age booty daddy. Truth, justice, and the American way. One of the most iconic catchphrases that was readily thrown out of the Superman mythos several years ago. Now, Gabe El Taib, who's a former colorist and employee of DC, um, basically had had enough and upon his exit from DC decided that he was going to pay homage to that of truth, justice in the American way. That's right, this is Truth, Justice, American Way, one of the first outings that Gabe El Taib has had after leaving uh, the Main Street Comics industry. The other one, he worked with Eric July on Isom number one, and I believe is also working on Isom number two, and probably a plethora of other projects I believe, with Eric July. So how did I become familiar with this? As most of you guys know, I'm actually new to a lot of this. The culture war started coming into my purview a few years ago, and so I really started paying attention to it. And as my kids are getting older and I realize I need to put good things in front of them, I went on the search. Well, I will say this. This is one of the things that I found because it was being advertised at the same time as ISOM number one. So I thought, you know what? If this guy's working with Eric July, probably a decent dude. I mean, the artwork in ISOM was pretty solid. So I thought I'd give this book a chance. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell if you like this review and you want to see more reviews like this as I get books in. I don't get them in all the time, so I don't do reviews all the time, but let's get into this. So, first off, let's start with this. My initial thoughts on this book, obviously, Truth, ju Truth Justice, American Way. That is obviously Gabe El Taib wearing his heart on his sleeve when it comes to his love for what American comics used to be and the messaging that they used to have. And honestly, I can respect that. After he was ousted from uh, DC, there was uh, a video that he created to kind of talk about his journey and what inspired him and what got him into comics in the first place. So going through this book, I had my expectations set very differently than uh, I, I what I probably should have because I didn't really know how the story was going to play out. Now, my expectations for the book itself were that we were going to get into it. It was going to be this first story of a really large arc, and it was going to try to introduce a, a bunch of different people because a lot of creators are doing that right now with multi-book series and epically long stories. That's not the case here. Actually, it, it was a... It was a good surprise for me to find out that this reminded me of the way that I watched uh, superhero cartoons when I was a kid. You had a bad guy of the week, the superheroes had to go out, conquer that bad guy of the week, and life was good after that. So that's kind of how the story played out for me, and I really enjoyed that part of it, especially as I was getting more and more into it, I was like, wait a minute. I see where the story is going now. There's not a bunch of epic plot twists or anything confusing. It's a straightforward superhero comic book story. It is Truth, Justice, American Way, the three title characters in the book. And actually, let's show this off, this fantastic, these fantastic prints and cards that came with the book that I wasn't expecting. And that's probably because I ordered this a long time ago and just for got what all came in the package. So that was really cool. But the title characters you're quickly introduced to, and I'm going to be honest, the first villain in the book is hilarious. I love it. I saw the call back there. I saw what he was going for, really reaching back into that old school like Americana that we all know and love. And I think a lot of us are, are kind of missing right now. So as you go through this story, uh, there is a decent plot. You get introduced to some villains and uh, a decent amount of villains, I will say that. And there is some world building there as well. I am trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible because I know a lot of people haven't read this yet and I, I don't want to give away all of the discussion points. My hope here in this review is that I will inspire fan debate and fan discussion for people who like the book, for people who don't like the book, for people who think that I'm wrong about things. That's what this review is about. So now that I went on that little non sequitur, let's get back into it. As I go through this book, I notice that the artwork is solid. The artwork is absolutely solid. And I would say this, when it comes to artwork, 
I, after a lot of the projects that I have seen, at least the previews for projects, the Kickstarters, the Indiegogos, the Fund My Comics stuff that I've seen, when it comes down to the artwork, I'm going to start kind of changing how I view artwork. And the way that, the, what I mean by that is as a musician, I go, man, this song by this musician, does that... Does that fit that musician? Should those guys have done that song? So that's what I'm gonna say here. Does the art fit the book? Yes, it does. It does. I think had the tone of the book been different, the artwork would have suffered for that because there would have been a little bit of a disconnect there between the tone that they were going for and the way that the art was drawn. Overall, I feel that the artwork itself fits the book, fits the story, and so on. So what are some of the things that I really wasn't the biggest fan of in the book? Well, Justice, the character uh, featured here on this cover, that's why I got the Justice cover, because I just, I like the character. Um, I was actually really hoping he would have more uh, going on in the book, and there seemed to be a lot less about him in the book, and I understand why. There's a little page here in the back that kind of gives you a little bit of their backstories, and you'll get into that. But in the book, I was hoping that Justice would do a little bit more than he did. Um, I felt that American Way and I felt that Truth actually got uh, quite a bit. And actually, I felt that American Way uh, was handled really, really well. Uh, Truth, um, Truth was definitely my second favorite. But Justice, the character that I was really looking forward to, did somewhat fall flat for me. However, honestly... It wasn't enough to kill the whole story. It was just a mild disappointment. Uh, some of the dialogue for me was a little bit off as well. Nothing, again, egregiously bad. I didn't think that anything was so out there. Again, I was framing it around different projects that I've checked out, different books that I'm reading currently. So I've got a lot of different things going on. So I think I just had to change gears. And once I did change gears to some of the dialogue and stuff, like especially in the, the intro. The intro, I was like, oh, oh, this is, it's really, really fun. The intro of this book is really fun. So I do have a couple of minor complaints with it, but that's just because, I mean, in my world, nothing is perfect and I'm not going to like everything 100%. And if I came out here and said, oh, I like everything 100% of the time, th that would be a lie. That would not be that would not be honest with you guys. So what I would like for you guys to do now is go down in the comments and if you guys have the book, read it. And I want to know your thoughts and your opinions on the book. What did you like? I'm trying to keep this spoiler free. I will not censor my comments, okay? So if you go down in the comments, you haven't read the book, people, you are more than allowed to have a spoiler discussion down there. I just wanted to pay some respect to the people who haven't read it here. But you know I've read it. It's your job to read it now. It's your job to comment to me now. Let me know what you think, and I will make sure to read all of those comments live on Sunday for my Sunday Coffee live stream. It's at 11 a.m. Central. So if you guys want to join that discussion and hear me read your thoughts and we can kind of go back and forth about how we feel about the book, let's get back to some good old fashioned fan debates. To wrap this up, my review process is simple. How would I rate this book? Well, it's simple. Buy or not buy. That's it. I don't do ones, twos, and tens and no. Would I buy the book? Would I spend the thing that actually matters? Not a star rating, but my hard earned dollars on this book again. Yes, I would, actually. And disappointments aside, Gabe, good work. And if you come out with another one, I'd love to see it because I'm interested to see the uh, second superhero of the week. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. And as always, until next time. Oh no, this isn't, this isn't a twist off. <sighs> see how I am? Cheers, everybody.